Hello, I'm Thomas Coldefy from Coldefy Architect. I'm pleased to welcome you at Tropicella show for the Venice Biennale Collateral Event. The spirit of the show is about Tropicalia, 20,000 square meter dome. It's about understanding through architecture, technology and design how we can better understand the fragility of our ecosystems. Tropicalia will be located on the Opal Coast, north part of France. Uh, we have a bubble-like dome which will reconnect visitors to plants, animals, um, in a region where climate is pretty often pretty harsh. Tropicalia will not just be a destination or a stopover, but it's really a place open to local community all year long and will integrate like cultural programs, uh, learning, participating to the, to the region dynamic of a, a new ecosystem. It will be a place of exchange, a place of sharing, accessible to, uh, to many, many people. So the project is, uh, is both a dome, an experience, an uh, immersive experience. So in order to uh, bring this project to life, we need it to define the right proportions. And it took many years actually to work with uh, our commissioner, with uh, Dr. Cédric Guérin, uh, a veterinary, which is, who is a very sensitive and close to uh, the evolution of uh, spaces and the danger of the spaces. So he wanted to uh, conceive a space that is both a space for exploration but also uh, a place where uh, people can come, study, uh, stay. So we will have residences, we will have auditorium. The aim of the project was uh, also to provide a totally peaceful experience uh, so that uh, we define a universe that is very calm, uh, a place of observation. So when we started the studies almost uh, 10 years ago, uh, we defined that uh, this place should be not in the middle of the city, but some place at the outskirt of the city so that we can set uh, really the atmosphere and uh, the experience that is, uh, uh, that is requested in order to promote this integration. And, of course, in order to uh, provide maximum uh, light and natural light into the space, uh, we created this uh, very translucent uh, uh, capsule that is uh, providing the shelter for this ecosystem. Uh, so that's why the space is uh, a combination of uh, a ring uh, of functions and a central space that is very free and very simple. Once the research was set, we uh, needed to transform uh, this program into a piece of architecture. That's what we called uh, almost going from uh, biomorphism to architecture. The dimension that has been decided was to go on a, a shape of uh, an ellipse, which is uh, the size is around 150 meter by uh, 200 meter, and it's rising at 32 meter high without intermediate uh, support. So any support, any vertical support leaving the interior of the building and the greenhouse free of any supporting structure. So in the end, the, the system and the structural grid is, is very simple. We have uh, an air chamber where we capture the, the heat from the sun and from this uh, air chamber, we will send this heat into um, a tank, a tank which is at the bottom of the building. This tank will be almost like a, a natural radiator for the entire building and also have some extra heat that we will provide for the, end of the surrounding equipment, the surrounding uh, future business. So in the end, the uh, promotion of uh, Tropicalia is more than a building, it's something that is serving another purpose, is uh, to provide an architecture that is uh, something else, something that is open to uh, work with the neighbors. So Tropicalia will be a positive energy building. It will be also more than that, it will be an energy producer. So it goes beyond the idea of uh, a building that is just a building. It's a building that is also playing a role for its surrounding community. Uh, it's a place of uh, preservation, it's a place of education, but it's a place also of innovation.